for Russia. Probably their best defender in the first half, but they'll be... And you really would have to look very hard indeed uh, in this stadium to find any Russian flags. The uh, Russian team, in fact, are absolutely overwhelmed by the support. The stadium itself holds something like 80,000 people. It's also got an athletics track around it, the only one that has in the... Um more exact about to stage its first World Cup match and the enthusiasm for the competition I can assure you is growing over here in America all the time that's the Brazilian captain Rai and uh, Dimitri Karin is captaining Russia today the Chelsea goalkeeper he was um, watched in a training session yesterday by the Chelsea chairman Ken Bates who's over here so good wishes from uh, his club go to him and uh, Years ago, of course, another famous Russian goalkeeper, Lev Yashin, he was a captain as well, wasn't he? And uh, here's the Brazilian team. Names that you will know, Tafarel in goal, Jorginho at right-back, Ricardo Rocha and Marcio Santos, the centre-backs. But uh, let's see if they can cope with this wave of enthusiasm. The referee from Mauritius is staying very close to the play. Now, Rai. Oh, and Romario! Good save by Dimitri Karin. Whether he was offside, I rather think he probably was, Trevor. I think he gave a little nudge, but the referee was very, very late with the whistle. I thought he'd got away with it. As you can see, it just clips, I think, a little nudge and, and just clipped the heels that brought the defense. 
and he's still got that here, Brazil, and there goes the cross, and there's the shot from Bebeto. But he should have scored. Uh, he tried a spectacular volley, and I think a straightforward header, downward header. Something we can't really determine at the moment as Kareem takes, he didn't seem to hold out much hope, but that may just be a little bit of kidology. Neither was that. That was Simbala who came in and uh, well held by uh, Taffarel, speaker, the Brazilian coach, has been second spell uh, in charge of Brazil. That was Zinho. This is Leonardo, the fullback. Great defensive tackle there. That's the first time Leonardo's got in that advanced position. It was a good ball from Zeno. Knew he'd be overlapping. He just got knocked off the ball at the last instant. Good outside of the left foot. And Dimitri Curry knows he did, but Beto. And there's the setup and the shooting so far by Brazil has, to say the least, been disappointing. We certainly can corner again surely it was a Russian here comes Leonardo now round Gorlukovic right round Gorlukovic oh he just had to pull that back to Romario well, they're clinging on at the moment the Russians uh, they've got to relieve this pressure somehow Leonardo down the left hand side has made two or three oh and that one's been stabbed in Romario got it. Just got a touch as it came across the area. And Romario, the player whose reputation was said to be on the line here, has scored Brazil's first goal in the 1994 World Cup. Two came towards the near post. It went beyond them. And Rom from Rai back to Leonardo. That was brilliant. Can they get something on the end of it? Romario. Dos Oh, that is a free kick. That was the case there of the number six, Tanovsky, who's been given this marking job, just clinging on to the shoulders of Romario and dragging him down. Curl of Bebeto, oh, with pace. I'm not sure what Kareem could have done about that. Well, he could have picked it out of the net, I think, because, uh, I mean, it was, what, two steps? Look at that. Straight over the wall, coast to coast. These delighted supporters are in although they did have one very fine team in uh, 1986 in Mexico uh, and Zinio had the shot which Curry blocks just it was actually Mauro Silva who did the approach work from the back wasn't it and the referee blows for half time with the huge Brazilian encampment in the crowd, quite happy with the way things have gone. Romario, the scorer, from a corner, giving them the initiative, and they didn't really look like losing it. The uh, Russian team are very much... Russia 1-0. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Palo Alto. <laughs> We've been uh, listening with interest to, uh, to Jack Charlton and to what you've been saying in the studio. And I was just thinking, probably a lot of our viewers don't appreciate that with the World Cup being spread all the way across the United States, we are in fact in this country alone in three different paper that was just barely mentioning the World Cup come out this morning with a four-page supplement. The O.J. Simpson uh, double murder for Russia. Probably their best defender in the first half, but they'll be... its merits uh, I would say that Golukovic has played as well for Russia as anybody up to now doesn't look like a typical Russian does he, he comes inside and not satisfied with that that was uh, Romario penalty kick Lim Key of Mauritius the referee a goal for Brazil and a 2-0 
and they're off the bench, the substitutes, they've gone to congratulate Ray. Let's look at those scenes. That's the 17 year old lad there in the middle of all that. Ronaldo, but uh, Brazil go two goals clear. A bit of effort. Bebeto on the ball, Romario's coming in! It's a great flowing move, wasn't it? Jorginho, the right fullback getting into the attack. Oh, they know the fact that Cameroon and Sweden have already drawn a, a win today, almost had one foot into the next phase now. This is Rodchenko, it's a chance. Didn't really get hold of the shot. Number 15, Dmitry Rodchenko. And this is Roy. And he's played that one in well. Here's Bebeto looking for Romario. There's a chance here for Brazil to make Dunga. Touched in for the 1 2 again. And is that number three? Oh, it's Dimitri Karim with a fantastic save. That was brilliant goalkeeping by the man from Chelsea. A great interpass, it wasn't it, on the edge of the area. Dunga then knocking it in the near post of. Referee is going to have to have at least a word there with number 21, Dmitry Klestov, and he too gets the yellow card. So that's uh, two Russians booked now in three minutes. Well, that was a nasty challenge. Uh, Georgino must have been badly shaken up because he was at full stretch and, and took a bone crunching challenge. You, you see, as the ball comes up, he comes in late in his left leg and he's knocked around Georgino and still lying down prone at the moment and that could be nasty yes that replay said it all really didn't it it was exactly that and Jorginho made the a tactical change he's uh, is there as well Zinio is just behind him more beautifully into the path oh and Bebeto off Karim who plays for Palmeiras and there's going to be a rest for Carlos Dunga who's done an awful lot of running now can they get a goal out of this Brazil were hesitant there for the first time in a while. Then Romario's just inside him, but Beto's further out. Germany and Italy coming up behind them, but today it's three points for Brazil. And the stadium in Palo Alto celebrates a victory which gets Brazil off on the right foot in the 1994 World Cup in America.